If you guys are not on Tangent T9, up. And today is Tuesday. So you know what that means? We're doing mind control. Because that's what we do on Tuesdays on my channel. Okay, so you guys, I got another voice over for you guys. I still don't really feel good. I'm not sure if I have a cold or it's allergies. But either way it goes, we still in here. And today we're going to do a mind control video. So today's video, I want to focus on music vibrations of uh, frequencies controlling our mind and some theories on how they're controlling our mind or what which way or why they would like to control our mind and i have a bunch of videos that i would like you guys to see let's start off with people's theories on frequencies putting us on demon timing because that is one of the biggest things a lot of people think that they play these low vibrational frequencies to put us on a lower vibration which some people would consider demon timing all right so first i'm sorry i haven't been on here in a minute but i took a hero dose of shrooms and i meditated for like four hours and while i was meditating i could hear sirens and horns and stuff and essentially it's it's weird to even explain this but it's like i could hear the noise inside the noise like like you know when these artists like they take like uh, someone yelling and then they, they crunch it down and they chop and screw it and then now they make a beat out of it right but essentially we're being attacked through the music so if you're listening to any of the top music that's on apple right now if you go and you can chop and screw it like reverse it like not just reverse it but if you can open it and listen to the beats there's there's things within it that are being used against us because uh our, our tongue can slay us and we speak these frequencies and these vibrations but essentially what i'm trying to say is that i feel like i mean i don't feel like i'm sure this is a known thing that they're fucking with us from the music industry because everyone listens to music and it puts us on demon time if you know what i'm saying but i was just in this meditation and i could hear these sirens and these horns and it's like i could hear things within the noises that i was hearing and yeah okay i was on trips whatever but at the same time I'm sure you understand what I'm saying, but what I want to do is if someone can just go go listen to some music and open that bitch up, just go find some songs on Apple. It's usually the top artists that are being projected to us are the ones that are messing with us the most. But yeah, just go dissect it and see what you find. As you can see in this TikTok that I just played for you, um, he is basically saying the same thing I said, but more so on mainstream music. Um, I'm not sure exactly what songs I never chopped in screwed a song and maybe that's what we'll do in this video so stay tuned but um, to keep to stay on this theory of demon and the devil and all that let's watch this next video on maybe why they could be doing this or how and a lot of people would say that's because the music industry is like made by the devil. You got to sell your soul to get into Hollywood and all this other stuff, right? So staying on that theory for a little while, let's watch this next clip with that in mind. The music business is ran by the devil. So the music business is only designed to get as many people to go away from God as possible. So what happens is the devil needs workers and by workers, he needs people who have influence, who can mislead or misguide people away from the light into the darkness. Mm -hmm. So this is why the artist is powerful. So the artist is the mouthpiece. The mm -hmm. artist is the mouthpiece between the devil and the fan. And the artist's job is to get you to Throw up these weird signs. Mm -hmm. What are you doing this for? This is the bot for me. I don't fuck with this. So don't think I'm throwing this up because I, I don't fuck with this. Mm. I'm just showing you when you see these signs, when you see the checkerboards, when you hear them talking about demon time and drill and kill and all this shit. Mm. Even the actual beat and the BPM, it's all 808 drums. This is all low vibrational shit. So what happens is the artist is only the tool used to push the message of the devil. It's a spiritual war. So what happens is in order for that artist to be in position to even misle mislead the people, they have to be worthy. This is hazing. And when you're getting hazed, you're getting fucked in your ass. So you think you're you know saying like basically this homosexual ritual, the, the, I'm saying all the rituals. But they're evil and satanic because the whole industry is ran by the devil. That's the rite of passage to get to the next level of witchcraft, magic, or whatever that is. That's Everybody how he in suicide. the music industry that you see that successful mm. is a homosexual. They have some tapes on him. That's wow. Right? I'll say this. The music... So, as you guys can see, he does a really good job of explaining what could possibly be going on currently in the music industry or why this could be happening. But a really mainstream celebrity actually basically 
said the same exact thing just pretty much touched on 808 frequency a little bit more than he did so let's get into this clip of this celebrity talking about and basically restating exactly what he said just focusing more on the 808 frequencies the algorithm you know what i'm saying the 808 the 808 exists in the lowest chakra of your body. The majority of content that's related to the 808 is killer or sexual content. The original 808s was even off pitch. So that meant it's an actual sound in the track that you don't realize is there that is fucking up your entire frequency. And now, today, every time I hear a car come out, it's 808. But if you think about African music and hip hop and what we break it to, break dance to, it was light. The percussion. It was and then the algorithm, you know what I'm saying? The 808. Speaking of frequencies, let's actually watch a video to help us understand frequencies a little bit more. Let me let you in on one of the biggest conspiracies of our time. It involves the music you listen to every day. Electromagnetic frequencies show up to us as a C note or the color orange because energy is information that moves. Just like a radio, tuning to a certain frequency opens you up to the information that frequency is carrying. This is why we can only see and hear certain frequencies on the spectrum. Some frequencies are not in our bandwidth to be able to see or hear. But certain frequencies like X-rays and nuclear radiation happens to be in the bandwidth of human DNA and can cause mutations. This is because it interferes with the information the DNA is trying to send and scrambles the message. All life communicates through electromagnetic frequencies, including your cells, your DNA, and atoms themselves. Sound frequencies have a major impact on us because they are processed within the brain. Ancient tuning practices used a system of tuning known as just intonation. The method of just intonation is when each note can be reduced down to small whole numbers, which creates a very pure sound. The tuning practice we use today is known as 12 tone equal temperament. When we tune an instrument to 440 hertz using the chromatic scale, we get irrational numbers which can be seen here as with the 333 and 666. This is probably why people believe 440 hertz is an evil tone. There's nothing wrong with the frequency of 440 itself, but it's the can of worms you open when you strike these other notes that are irrational numbers, and our brains are trying to make sense of something that is unresolved. Today, we use the even-tempered scale for digital music, which makes up most of the music people listen to today. Other than the 440 hertz, all of these numbers are irrational, unresolved numbers continuing out to infinity. These frequencies can only be created artificially, and the information it's sending is pure chaos. None of these are real frequencies in nature. This creates dissonance, which induces feelings such as boxed-in thinking, suppressed emotions, and even lowered consciousness. Luckily, this can all be reversed by switching to pure natural frequencies like sound bowls and listening to musicians who subscribe to just intonation. But when and how and why did the scale ever change from just intonation? Like and comment for the story. Let After watching that video, it really makes sense when little Uzi says this. <laughs> it's in my brain. Do you know that? It's living rent free. I can't get it out. You did that. Yeah, it's hypnosis. <laughs> hypnosis <laughs> I just want to rock after watching all these clips and staying on the same vibe watch this next clip from this Nickelodeon show not sure the name but it really is on topic of what we're saying and yes I'm pretty sure your brain can be controlled by someone with frequency and who knows and understands the different frequencies and stuff like that. I'll release you soon after I take control of your mind through the use of musical brain warping. Playing the right combination no. of musical chords, the mind keys of F minor, no. and D flat, back with the right funky beat. Human mind opens up like a frosty sponge into which I can place instructions through clever rap lyrics, which I present myself. Now, staying on topic with altering someone's mind, like we said, Let's actually see, in a sense, how it's done. Let's watch this next clip that I feel will blow your mind. Just how easy is it to physically alter someone's mind from a distance? Let's watch this clip from Dr. Beck, and you'll be shocked. And what I'm going to do here is something magical. I'm going to pick up here a scripto pencil and you'll notice when I wave it around this electrometer this electrostatic voltmeter not much is happening I'm going to do something magical to this pencil I'm going to put a few extra electrons on it like you did in high school now what happens number one when I have charged this piece of plastic by rubbing it through my hair as you do with a hair comb during the day, we have made a field which you can measure 
if you have an instrument. Now I'm going to do something else to you. I want the people from the first row back, I guess some of you even a little beyond the video camera are going to feel this. This works double blind, this is not suggestion. We're going to create a three to five hertz field as Hamer did at UCLA in 1965 and we're going to ask you how you feel. Now, we're going to produce a 9 hertz wave. A wave is a time varying field and I want those of you who are sensitive to tell me what you feel compared to the 3 to 5. Okay, you got it? I see several faces have lit up here. You felt that? Yeah. Terrific. Yeah, the one, the one way made you feel slightly low. I felt the vibration in the soul. Yeah. The second one you did, I felt the energy charge throughout the whole body. Exactly. If you saw those previous slides, we have replicated here with very simple, do-it-yourself, verifiable on scientific instruments, waves and fields that have profound effect on biological systems. So we can go in and find out what restaurants are modifying your eating habits by giving you an adrenaline reaction which normally produces fight or flight syndrome. If you've paid twenty dollars for a meal you're not gonna fight or run away, you're gonna eat faster. If you eat faster they're going to have more table turnover during a shift. This is being done. We found a number of these locations in Southern California that are doing this to us. Incidentally, they are uh, connected with the family. They are Italian-owned. This technology has leaked down to the public. We hoped it would be a few years before this happened. Next in the slide. 1980s. When we began trying to actively manipulate the mood and brain waves of Homo sapiens, we first tried photic stimulus, flashing lights, we tried evoke potential from sound, we tried a number of things about which we do not talk in public. We finally developed a little device about this size that goes in your shirt pocket. I took it down, now I'm telling on myself, but I hope the statute of limitations has run out, to a couple of the major tourist attractions in Southern California, where we would have an unlimited number of subjects, free, doesn't have to feed laboratory mice. <laughs> we determined that we could alter the brain patterns of about 35 percent of the gross population up to a distance of around 20 to 30 feet. Instead of going through the door, they would run into the door jam. Instead of walking around the trash can, they would kick it over. <laughs> They'd get lost. As soon as I found that this actually worked, and I used these to determine the waveforms, pulse repetition rates, etc., I destroyed the units because I felt we were doing a high, highly unethical thing. So I hide myself back to Washington and I said, hey you guys, we've got a clear and present danger. Your mind is being altered every day from outside sources. And the only question left for you is whether or not you want to take control of it or let it be in the hands of somebody else. Just how easy is it to physically alter someone's mind? Okay, that was it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I might post a part two today because I really enjoyed this video myself. Also, I see why they want to ban TikTok. I mean, TikTok really is mind-opening. You can see so many different things from so many different sides, and I love it. There are so many different viewpoints on how they are mind-controlling us, why they are mind-controlling us, and what they are mind-controlling us to do, what frequency they're putting us on, and things like that. So I'm definitely not done, and I will have more videos to come. But thank you guys so much for watching this video today. And yeah, that was it for today's video. Not to see not out. Hopefully I'm not sick by next week at least so I can see, so you guys can see my face on the screen or I can see my own face because, you know, I'm the main one watching my own channel. So I would like to see myself as well. So again, THT, 9 THT, 9 up, out. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and crush it crush it crush it yeah